Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled a Falcon 9 moon. So what do we see here? Well, there's two main things in the image. One is the moon. And if you note, the moon is not quite full here. It is still what we would call a waxing phase, a waxing gibbous phase. And that's because it's only partially illuminated. Now, while it look, may look very close to full, if you actually look towards the left side, you can see that there's a little bit of it. It looks a little incomplete there. And that's because there's still a small sliver that is not yet illuminated. Now, if we waited a couple of days after this image had been taken, then you would have actually seen a full moon, and that would have occurred on September 2nd of this year, and that would have been known as the full corn moon. Now, we didn't want to wait a couple of days because the whole idea was to actually time this with the Falcon 9 rocket here. Now, this is not actually the launch of the rocket, but actually the return of the first stage of a Falcon 9 rocket back to Cape Canaveral. Now, the uh, earlier the rocket had launched the satellite into an orbit, and one of the things that Falcon is doing is reusing the first stages. So the first stage saves some fuel, and you can see that using its rockets to be able to return to Earth here. So it's able to come back to Earth and go through and be refitted and refueled. It can be used again. Now that's different than a lot of the material before uh, that we had used previously uh, in the very early the Apollo rockets. The stages were not reused. They were used one time and then would either be uh, dumped in the ocean, depending on when they came off, or would be burned up in orbit. So depending on the exact state of the, of the stage there. Now the moon again up above, if we look at that, we see two different colorings of it. We see the very light coloring of the highlands, the older heavily cratered area, and we see the darker coloring of the maria, which is slightly younger. Now they're both all very old compared to anything we have here on the earth. The highlands date back to the origin of the solar system about four and a half billion years ago and date to the origin of the moon itself. The Maria are slightly younger, but still three and a half billion years old, much older than anything we have here on Earth. Now, things last a lot longer on the moon without getting changed because the moon is essentially ge geologically dead now. So while the Earth is active and has things like earthquakes and volcanoes that constantly reshape the surface, the moon has been dead for many billions of years. So if you could go back in time a billion years and look at the moon, it would look much the same as it does today. Whereas if you were to look at our Earth, at the say a billion years ago, it would look very, very different. Its surface has constantly changed over that time so that it really looks nothing like it did a billion years ago, but our moon essentially unchanged. So that was our picture of the day for September the 5th of 2020. It was titled a Falcon 9 moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a cosmic crustacean. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.